Welcome everyone. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, this morning is a game day morning and in our house it's a tradition that we try to make a little bit of a party. So whoever your team is, you might want to try this one out. We're going to make basically a burrito or a nacho filling slash topping. I'm going to start with chicken thighs. It's about three pounds of chicken thighs. Try to make sure that it's all the meat is hitting the bottom because this is the base and we want to make sure this gets cooked through. On top of this, we're going to put all of our vegetables. So this is two cans of black beans, strained. Diced tomatoes, not strained. And that's two cans. Uh, they're 14 and a half ounces, in case you're wondering the size of the can. 16 ounces of salsa. Put whatever flavor uh, and brand you like. This happens to be medium because my family doesn't particularly care for really spicy stuff. But feel free to spice it up however your crowd is going to enjoy. And then the last thing you need is you need some taco uh, seasoning. It can be, you know, the powder or whatever. We like this brand of taco seasoning. It has a nice, subtle smoky flavor to it and again it's not a very spicy flavor which makes this a palatable substitute if you are a spice fan like myself. Last thing we want to do is we want to just add a little bit of spice. This is just cumin so it's not going to add any heat but it'll add a little extra flavor. If I had to guess that was about a quarter of a teaspoon. Now this one is cayenne pepper. You gotta be careful with this because uh, this is going to add heat, but I just want to add just a little bit of smoke of the pepper and this is not even an eighth of a teaspoon as you can see, so just a pinch. Um, I'm just going to mix these up a little bit, leaving the chicken on the bottom because again we want to make sure that that's staying directly to the heat source so that it cooks thoroughly through. And that's it. We're going to cook this on high and we're going to cook it for somewhere between two to three hours, but we'll check on it as we go. Um, probably after the second hour, we'll pull up the chicken to see where it looks at and see how well it's done. All right, it's halftime. We're winning. That's a big deal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This thing's been cooking for about four hours on high. Let's take the lid off and take a look and see what we've got going on. I have been uh, stirring on the occasion and also using these utensils that you see here to pull apart the meat. And I'll just spoon some up so you can see. I've started shredding the chicken uh, so that it will be really tasty, but also that we get extra you know, meat spread around with the other toppings onto our nachos and or burrito. Or I suppose if you had some hard taco shells, you could do that too. Right now, I'm gonna assemble a nacho. So I'm just gonna put a couple of uh, chips on the plate. That excites my son as you can hear. And then I'm just going to spoon some of this right over the top. Probably about two spoonfuls. That looks pretty good. Is that good for you? And then I've got some Mexican blend cheese. But use whatever cheese you like. Uh, if you have jalapenos or anything like that, feel free. This is the time to add them on. Not everybody likes jalapenos in their nachos, but that's pretty much all there is to it. It's a, a really easy, um, delicious plate. So that's nacho, if you'd like. I'll show you what it looks like as a burrito. So again, soft taco shell, a flour tortilla. There you go. This happens to just be uh, flour. You could use a corn tortilla too. Spoon a little in. Because this is a tortilla shell, I don't want it as wet. So I'm going to drain some of that second spoonful out. Cheese, if you have sour cream or whatever other toppings. A little bit of cheese in there that should help soak up some of that juice too. And then let's just fold her up. See, I said it was a little juicier. Uh, but that's it. Burrito, nachos, 
nice easy meal, easy prep, easy cook. I hope you guys enjoy this one. I hope you try it out, but you know the drill. Subscribe, share, and like. And give me your comments below. Go blue. Go blue.